Ugandan-born Australia-based heart surgeon Dr. Agri Chinji, who has expressed his desire to return home in June, may have to return to battle court cases. According to Inspector General of Police General Kali Kaihura, police have information showing that Dr. Chinji has been funding terrorist groups, which the police are trying to neutralize. We detected this around Christmas, towards, towards Christmas, when we got information that they actually wanted to attack police stations. And uh, it was linked to Dr. Chinji's group. Last week, Dr. Chinji's name came up in court as a key suspect in the recent murder of two prominent Muslim clerics. He was also accused of funding groups held bent on overthrowing the government by force of arms. But Dr. Chinji has dismissed the claims, saying they are a government ploy to block his ambition since he plans to contest the presidency in 2016. I asked General Kaihura whether they would ask the international police, Interpol, to help extradite the Australian best Dr. Chinji for trial in Uganda. If it becomes necessary, why not? There is Interpol. There is Interpol and he's not in the moon. But even in the moon, these days, human, humanity has capacity to reach the moon. Early Sunday morning, two policemen were gunned down and their AK-47 rifles taken after they fell into an ambush of armed criminals in Ibujiri district. Earlier, the police had launched a crack operation on the Allied Democratic Forces, ADF rebel suspects. Inspector General of Police General Kale Kaihura said that the police have intelligence information that there are sleeper cells targeting the former ADF rebels here in central Uganda and also other sleeper cells in northern Uganda that are targeting the former recruits of LRA rebels. And he added that in order to counteract such a threat, there is need for vigilance on the side of the police and the public. In Mogadishu, you go to Somalia, Uganda police is applauded. They don't want any other, any other police to, to patrol. It's Uganda police. But then when it comes to here, it's a different story. General Kaihola gave reassurance that the Bajiri murders and the killing of Muslim clerics was no cause for alarm. But he cautioned police officers against complacency. If you are not alert here, you risk your own life, as you have seen our own comrades. See, you may think you're, hide, you're, you're hiding from Kaihura, but you may not hide from a criminal. General Kaihura spoke after passing out over 400 police officers who had completed training in human resource management. They have been tasked to supervise and control human resource needs in police stations in central Uganda and eastern Uganda. Sudil Biaruhanga, NTV.